What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how I took this old beat up Fender P bass and went from this to this. All right, so before we start tearing apart, let's uh, access what we got here. So this used to be white. As you can see here, there was a sticker. Um, and this guy smoked so much that the whole thing turned yellow. And he, at one point, must have dropped it because there's a crazy bunch of damage around here. Uh, there's some damage on this side, too. And then the headstock has a chip out of the end. So we're going to be fixing all that with wood filler, sanding it down, all that good stuff. Um, I got this for only 350 bucks, so, you know, in the end, this should definitely, definitely be worth um, all the time and effort I put into it. So, first things first, let's take it apart, start cleaning it up, and then we can start sanding and all that good stuff. We'll time-lapse the whole process while I narrate over it. So, sit back, grab a beer, and enjoy. Alright, first thing to do, we took off the strings, and then I got the bridge off. Started taking all the pick guard off and everything. And as you can see, all the dirt and crap under here. Uh, kind of funny. Now, we're going to end up replacing all the electronics. I'm not, I don't know how good they are. The neck said it was from May 8th, two, uh, 1992. So, 30 years old. This is pretty cool. Um, it took a lot of sanding here. I, those chips, I thought maybe I'd be able to sand and kind of smooth them out before I wood filled them. But I probably should have done the wood filler first. So I decided to do it here, and then I got to sand everything again once that wood filled dry. So while it was drying, the neck, I decided to clean all the frets, do the fretboard. The back of the neck had a little bit of like divots, and st so I sanded it, and then it was good, but definitely did need that sanding. Here, uh, just more more sanding on all these little dings, trying to just smooth it out the best I can. You know, we're going to paint over it, but you want to get it filled at least as much as possible. And that one crack was a lot deeper than I thought. It actually went through like most of the wood so that one was kind of a pain the color i decided to go here was i went orange blue and yellow um and then it was primed with a yellow and it made this really cool color combo I, I wasn't exactly what i was going for but i'm really happy with how it turned out so i wasn't sure at first that i was going to do the pick guard but then i saw how gross the pick guard was and everything i decided to do that but before that we did the headstock like i always do um, we taped off the fender logo and we also taped off the sides and back. So we're just getting just the front face here um, Now I don't show it here, but unfortunately when I took the masking tape off it did take the fender decal off So I had to order a new fender decal um, Which was no big deal and I wish I would have got that on camera But I didn't realize the camera wasn't rolling when I showed that part um, Here I do the pick guard cover. Just this is a little styrofoam thing. I got it seems to work pretty good and uh, I was really happy how the pick guard came out so here I just decided to, you know, foil shield everything with this copper copper tape I got. Uh, it works good. It's got, you know, a conductive silicone adhesive on it as well. And that just helps shield all the electronics. And here we actually put in Fender Custom Shop 64 pickups that I bought. Um, the other ones I'm just going to keep as spares. And we have put an orange drop capacitor. And I'm wiring this up all with 250K CTS pots. Um, and I also bought a new output jack and a new bone nut but the the bone nut was pre-sized and it just popped right in so I, i'm not even going to show that part but the wire here on p bases is really easy um at least passive p bases if you're somebody that's new to wiring up a, any type of guitar or new to soldering this is a great thing to do first because it's very simple um, but yeah and then i'm basically at this point just putting it all back together and you know I mean, I am just blown away by how good this one turned out. I mean, this thing was really beat to crap, too. It just didn't feel that good in your hands. Get all the tuners back on, string it up, and she's ready to jam on. All right, guys, tell me what you think down in the comments below. I think that the body, the pick guard, the headstock, everything came out so nice. Even the back of it, really, really happy with how this one came out. Um, and it looks like it's in way better shape than before we fixed that headstock crack. You can't even tell it was ever there. Um, yeah, and let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe because I'm also going to be working on a Fender Jazz Bass that my buddy Greg hooked me up with. Um, it's, a, it's actually a fretless Fender Jazz Bass, um, and we're doing a full re restoration on that. And that one's in kind of rough shape, so it should be really, really fun. Um, yeah, but very, very happy with how this turned out. If you guys do videos like this yourself, uh, you put pictures up on Instagram, make sure to tag me at hotdiggity86. 
and we will see you guys later. Rock on.